Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. It's Ilius Namibia here. If it's your first time coming here, please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell so that you can stay connected. Um, now, guys, I'm so sorry. Like, I have been so much quiet. Like, I've been away. I believe you all miss this face, don't you guys? Don't you? I also miss you. But I thought, let me come out here and just do this video. So, um... In the meantime, I will be a little bit away. I will be in and out like um as much. I will try to keep you updated. I will also try to come up here and just show my face. I think it might um make you guys a little bit uh, feel much better. So meanwhile, I'm a little bit busy and I will be I'm working on something and it will be taking most of my time and I'm just trying to uh concentrate on it so that I can um yeah get the perfect results and then i'll update each and every one of you later on this platform so thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe or otherwise hit the bell so that you can always stay updated so um i wanted to just speak about this story like uh, what happened in south africa like it's like guys oh guys people are so fearless so uh it's actually about tabo besta this uh other um rapist facebook rapist or whatever he is that uh, he was actually convicted for such type of a uh, crime that he is committed he have actually also been uh, convicted for murder also so he is a whole criminal uh, criminal so um this uh, this guy was apparently um allegedly uh, arrested alongside his uh, partner Dr. Nandipa Magudumana, she is a well-known doctor. I've been following that lady, you guys, for many years now on Instagram. And she has been inspiring me like the lady has been living life. And um, for me, I'm inspired by hardworking women, mostly um, uh, people that have like written a name for themselves, like people that have worked very hard. In this case, she is a whole doctor, a successful doctor. So I was like, yo, guys, this type of people I'm looking up to. Until I heard this news and her getting involved in this shenanigan, I was like, oh, the good doctor. I hope it's not true. So what happened is that Tabo Besta allegedly um, was convicted in the last few years. I think it's in the... I think it's... Yeah, I don't know. Let me not... I'm just trying to summarize, as I said, and get you guys... Um, give you guys the whole insight of the story so he was convicted for ribbing sorry i don't know if youtube does allow such type of words but yes sorry uh he was uh, convicted for that and as well as for murder so um and they said that uh he was actually sentenced to life imprisonment somewhere in south africa and one of these past years i think it's 2022 if i'm not mistaken he was declared dead apparently his um his cell his uh prison cell caught fire and then he was allegedly banned uh, beyond recognition so they really uh, when the people went to the cell they allegedly found a corpse there that is burned beyond recognition so he was declared dead so then um until one day somebody in south africa spotted that tabo besta who was allegedly who died then recently in the alleged um uh prison um of a uh, prison cell fire so uh he apparently passed away and then he was then spotted afterwards i don't know after how many months and then that person then took pictures of him while he was busy doing shopping in Woolworths, south africa sent an image alongside dr nandi bama Gudmana, the good doctor so somebody took the pictures and then they, I don't know when they went into speculation. I'm not really sure. And then um, later the news broke that, yeah, Tabo Besta is actually not the one that died in the prison of fire, but it was somebody else. So he escaped from the cells, from, from the whole prison. It is very, it's a story that is just, I don't know, it, like I have been following it from day one. And it took my whole, I tried thinking and investigating, guys, because I'm so much into those things. They, like, they are, I'm, I'm interested in such type of crime and those type of, um, yeah, um, scenarios. So what happened is that um, he was then declared, okay, they said he, it was not him that died in the prison cell. He allegedly um, escaped from prison. And then, so the person that was that was uh, spotted those 
few months back it was actually him alongside dr nandi pamagudumana and then the other thing is that they said now they are trying to connect the dots there was a time that dr nandi pa came went to the mortuary to go claim the body of her husband who is allegedly then um Brista, Tabo Brista. So I don't know, you know, she went to claim that body and say it's a customary uh, husband that passed in prison and she have to go bury or cremate the the remaining. So of which she got later. Or firstly, she didn't get it. And then later she went to court and yeah, she she finally got the corpse. And then she went to she went ahead and cremated the, uh, the remains of her alleged husband, who is in this case, Tabo Brista. So, um... And then, now, recently when people realized that, no, something is not adding up. So the person that died in the prison so was not him and Dr. Nandi Pa went to claim the body of her husband. So something is not just well. So they had to then start on with their investigation for them to go to their residential where they have been living. Apparently, they have been running some successful businesses which are allegedly um, fraudulent, fraudulent uh, businesses of which um, there was so much of, of money laundering and stuff. So I do not know why a good doctor would want to mess her life up. Imagine the whole successful lady, a beautiful lady, and she would just want to F up her, her life like getting yourself involved in this i don't know guys if it's love but for me i can't say no guys love cannot be that stupid you cannot go to that extent as much as i love somebody i'm not going to do all those criminal like nonsense with you no sorry no no that is no so um it's alleged that um when the police then and went started on with the with the investigation to go to their residential place only to realize that no, there's nobody there anymore. It seems like they have fled the country or they have fled their residential and they've been investigating and investigating and so on only to find out somewhere that no, they have fled South Africa. Guys, so for me, I was just like, no, if this guy could escape the whole prison, like if he could escape the whole prison, obviously he's, he's a well-connected person a well-connected fugitive and so on that he will it will be very difficult for anybody for them again to catch him once he has already fled the country but guys you won't believe it tanzania i've heard about tanzania i've heard about botswana also those countries i have so much respect for them the others i haven't heard like i believe in those countries crime if you are like crime is not they they can they they, they don't play with crime in that country if you are if you commit crime, you, you easily get caught. Those police and whatsoever, they don't play. Like, you are going to get caught and you will be sentenced like that's it. So, apparently, allegedly, um, in Tanzania, while they were about to cross the border to li living like for Kenya, they were, they were apparently arrested. So, Tabo Besta got arrested alongside Dr. Nandipa Magunumana in one of the Mozambican national so who allegedly was then the one who was assisting them with um, escaping or crossing borders and so on so they allegedly then finally got arrested and now the police is um busy uh doing uh are arra uh, making arrangements for them to be deported back to south africa that's now magudumana and uh and best so that they can go and face the um justice system again so for me it's just like guys women sometimes what we put ourselves through just because of love i don't think it was really love involved here or is it maybe money as they said um the love of money is the root of all evil like somebody will really risk their whole uh, medical uh, um medical how do i say medical qualification your whole lifetime medical qualification just for this thing they call or whatever they call it so and that woman is also having kids guys she has children believed to have two daughters or something like that but um it is said that before she fled she handed over the okay the kids have been with their father which is now the grand depressed ex-husband so it's so bad that you have to just mess up your life for like giving up your life Forgetting that you have children that are looking up to you, you have a whole family like that's your mother and everybody else, 
and you just do not mind you don't care like guys it is so unfortunate but i just hope i don't know if she was being used or maybe she was being threatened but for her to get involved in such type of crime it is really heartbreaking and it is very sad and it is embarrassing so i'm just hoping to hear more and i believe as from now on i think i will be trying to keep my viewers here updated on this case for besta and uh, magudumana and then you can all we can all see how it ends so it is that for me i'll say kudos to tanzanian police and then there's, there's what there is this african intelligence uh, police that have been working uh, together with those other police so well done in this case well done guys so um without wasting time that, that's all i had to share with you guys i thought i need to share this some not everybody of my viewers have access to such type of stories so i thought let me come here and just uh summarize up this and then you can have a full idea that um, guys <laughs> things happen in this world like they can really happen so as i said uh as soon as i get any update on this case i will be trying to keep you updated so I would like to thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe again if you have not done so. If you haven't liked this video, please do a thumbs up. If you have not uh, uh, clicked the bell, do click the bell so that whenever I upload any video, it will always notify you that I have uploaded something new. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day.